I will be comparing the gaming performance between the just-released Zephyrus M16 with one of its siblings, the RIG Zephyrus G15. Both of these laptops share the same design language and form factor. Beyond the exterior and physical look of both devices, the M16 is based on Intel's 11th Gen Tiger Lake architecture, whereas the G15 is based on AMD's 5000 series Ryzen APU. Both laptops has multiple choices of CPU and GPU configurations, and we will be comparing the RTX 3070 graphics in both laptops and see how they fare against each other in 13 games. Both the M16 and the G15 has RTX 3070 graphics that draws 80 watts of power, with an additional 20 watts available via NVIDIA's Dynamic Boost technology. Dynamic Boost is a technology where the system can decide to move more wattage from the CPU to the graphics, whenever the processor doesn't need that extra power. This is decided by a fairly complex algorithm, and can vary dynamically in different games. In short, both systems have 100 watts of total graphics power available at disposal, so the other major component would be the processor. Taking a look at synthetic benchmarks, the i9 processor holds a small advantage over AMD's Zen 3 architecture. Intel's flagship processor benchmarks between 4 to 6% faster in single core clock boost compared to the 5900HS, a vital indicator for gaming performance. Another 3 to 4% can be found between the R7 and R9. While the synthetic benchmarks shows mixed results in Cinebench, it can be concluded that Intel's flagship holds a small advantage over AMD in single-core environment and on par with the R9 in multi-core performance. Let's get on to the test results. I tested all games using the native benchmark tool at 1080p and highest settings, usually ultra, with VSync disabled. The first game I tested was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The M16 comfortably beats the G15 in this game, resulting in 11% higher average FPS. The Zephyrus G15's results is actually lower than a fully powered RTX 3060, such as the ROG Strix G17 gaming laptop, while the M16's score of 68 FPS brings it much closer to a fully powered RTX 3070. Assassin's Creed Valhalla followed a similar pattern. Far Cry 5. This game generally favours Intel platforms, and there was no difference in this case. M16 scores higher than even the full-powered RTX 3070 with the Ryzen CPU, and the difference to the Zephyrus G15, which carries the same 80-watt RTX 3070 laptop GPU, was measured to 18%. In Gears 5, the M16 once again scores the win. The Zephyrus G15 surprises in Gears Tactics, as this was the only game amongst 13 tested that AMD came out on top. Horizon Zero Dawn was tested using the built-in benchmark. At 1080p and ultra settings, the M16 was on average 5% faster than its closest sibling. Metro Exodus saw a close contest. This game is GPU intensive, and the difference was measured to just 3% between the M16 and the G15. In Red Dead Redemption 2, there was practically nothing separating the pair, as the relative difference was just 1%. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is another title that favours a strong Intel processor, especially if coupled with a high-wattage GPU. The results from the built-in benchmark nearly matches the RTX 3070 gaming laptop, with much higher output wattage. The same can be seen with Total War Three Kingdoms and Troy, which makes the M16 a great option for those of you who enjoy strategy games. In Tom Clancy's The Division 2, the relative difference between the M16 and the G15 was 6%. Watch Dogs Legion was the final game tested, and the relative difference was 11% in favour of the M16. The average FPS difference across all games tested works out to around 8%, with the M16 winning in almost all categories. Perhaps the results wasn't all surprising, given the processor benchmark scores from the beginning of the video. 
the Zephyrus G15 still did very well, considering that it houses a 35-watt processor, and it still held up pretty well against the 11900H Core i9. From a gaming point of view, the choice will be easy, as the M16 beats the G15 in almost every single game test. My recommendation is simple. Unless you have a preference for one CPU platform over the other, the M16 with 11th Gen Core i9 is the clear winner in the Zephyrus family when it comes to gaming workloads. With that said, should you be satisfied with the overall results I showed you today, the G15 will have the benefit of longer battery life with a performance level that almost matches the M16 while coming in at a lower price tag. I hope that this video brought you some clarity in your purchase journey. Check out the other GPU comparisons such as the Radeon RX 6800M and other high-end graphics cards by clicking one of the videos appearing on the screen. Take care and hope to see you again in the next video.